the real fettuccine Alfredo. All over Italy, what you know as Alfredo is actually called just pasta bianca, just white pasta. Yeah. There is no cream in it. There are three ingredients. Pasta, which you cook fresh fettuccine in boiling water, but look, not that much. Around three quarts, okay? And you salt the water with two teaspoons of salt for 12 to 16 ounces of fresh pasta, which cooks in two to three minutes. The next stage is a lot of butter. Yay. A lot. Yay. One, two, three, four, 12, 12 tablespoons of butter. I, I can't even say that without smiling. It makes me just so happy and I want to giggle. Now to make the cheese, don't buy just grated cheese in a bucket. Bring home a chunk of cheese and take six ounces of real Parmigiano Reggiano and cut it into pieces or break it up with your fingers and put it in the food processor. And then pulse it until it looks like fresh snow falling outside the window. In the oven, we have the most important part about this dish. The dish you're going to make the pasta in, toss the pasta until it emulsifies and the warm plates that we're going to give Gail and Glassman at the counter. Gail and Glassman. <laughs> oh, Glassman. I like that. So now we take the warm dish from the oven and we start adding the butter all around. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, you want it up the sides and it, it sounds filthy, but you want the butter to like go <laughs> everywhere and just start to melt down and get just sexy. <laughs> just sexy. The next important thing to remember is that we need the starchy, salty cooking liquid from the pasta itself, okay? So this only cooks in a couple of minutes, so we have to get in there and reserve. You need about a cup and a half just to be safe. You need to have that starchy, salty water to make this all merry and emulsify. Set your station so you can make this all happen kind of magically. For this dish, uh, you need to remove the pasta from the water with a spider or tongs. I use tongs, I find it a little easier. Again, you're trying to get a lot of that liquid in there and it's about keeping that starch and salt and liquid on the pasta. So now we're going to start with about a third of our cheese and about a third of our water. Get in there. And then we do this. This is so important. We have to marry the pasta, the butter, and the cheese. We're trying to marry this in stages. So you have to go piano piano, step by step, little by little. You can't rush it or you'll end up with globs of cheese and just a big puddle of water at the bottom of the dish. A little more cheese. Like the snow falling. The, like the snow. I like that, like the snow falling. Yeah, a little splash. You may not need all of the water. You just have to be patient and let the dish tell you, eh, okay, 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 okay. The warm bowls, so proper. Forks up, Glassman. Okay. <laughs> Forks up. Okay, King. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gonna be good. I can tell, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I can smell it. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh, plate's so warm. Okay. Thank plate's you. warm. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Thank you.